it's your boy Spiritual Marcus back for another video, okay? Now, today we're gonna be talking about rituals, charms, and sigil. Alright, y'all. So first let's talk about rituals. Um, so pretty much um there's a lot of a lot of different things you can you could use to enhance like you know different spiritual practices you can use to enhance yourself, right? So rituals are um See, it's a multitude of things, right? Society believes the rituals is devilish and, you know, all these different things. It's really not, right? A ritual could simply be a self-care day, right? Where you can have a spiritual bath, right? I've, if y'all haven't watched that spiritual bath video, please go watch it because it's so informational. And I put so much information and links in there you guys can find. But, um, yeah, so spiritual bath. Ritual could be like a spiritual bath, right? Spiritual baths is pretty much you can use herbs and different things like that. Matter of fact, let me go pull, let me, let me go pull out my herb bag real quick. All right, y'all, so herbs. Boom, right? Spiritual bath, right? So this is just one type of thing for it. Like, rituals can be a multitude of different things, right? For me, let's say this is something I'm going to be doing uh, soon. But let's say I'm doing like a self self-care ritual self-love ritual right so that would be like okay boom first off i want to uh, really nurture myself that day which means go to the bath take spiritual bath right herbs so basically herbs you can use different herbs okay like st john's worth if y'all guys can see that this is an herb right so you put a whole bunch of different not a whole bunch but ones you would like to i do that but you can use like let's say you want to do like a higher chakra day right like third eye crown chakra throat chakra right you could use like lavender right which is that which is that color of like the indigo third eye color right so those colors represent higher level uh energy or higher level chakras right that you can use you can use certain things specifically for chakras but use certain colored herbs uh for specific chakras or you could just do it one for a general top uh, you know the higher top three chakras right so basically, you can use different herbs like mug, mugwort and a whole bunch of these. I'll, I'm, I'll leave a link to these, y'all, because I know I, um, I'll i leave a link to these below, okay? Because I have a whole look, Wicca thing where I have like um different herbs, different crystals, organic black salt, organic uh, pink salt, which is all her, uh, her, uh, her ah, I can't say the name, Himalayan. A natural Himalayan salt you can use in the bath okay so this is just a, a example I don't want to go on a tangent because I can talk about spiritual baths all day but you can use different herbs in there right different flowers you can even like a candle like some sage right and pretty much just uh, nurture yourself in the bath have an intention on what you want to do um, in the bath right okay boom today I want self care self love I want to connect to myself on an intimate level you know that type of thing right you could do that as like a self-care day or self-love ritual right those are could, could be called a ritual right as well as what i would do i would do that and i would like set up candles i would set up crystals on this table right now i'm, I'm pointing towards this because this is my, my table so i would set up uh, things here and i would do like a self-love self-connection ritual where i'm just with me right i just want me and myself and i right to just connect to myself and um ask myself questions forgive myself for certain things make peace with myself for certain things that happen in my life stuff like that like things that can really impact not only your health but your mental health as well a lot of people have today in this world have a lot of mental health issues um and and one of the main reasons why they're going through that is because of how they treat themselves okay and how you treat yourself is they have a huge impact on the habits you pick up on how you think about yourself how you think about others as well okay so that's a huge thing but that could be like even if you let's say let's let's bring up some other examples of rituals right um i'm getting more into wicca right so wicca is about uh it's not all toxic right that's just the that's just the the main picture how they want you to, to perceive different things other than go to church every day and come home right which is that that's what you want to do that's your experience right everyone has their own experience and everyone chose how they want to experience certain things so that's their life let them do what they want to do right so um but that could be a thing right that could be a thing where for me i, I have like this uh one that's made out of natural oak and one of the spells is write a, a circle around yourself with the wand right 
and um, you could like boom. Let's say you want to connect your ancestors, the ritual you connect to your ancestors, right? A benevolent ancestors, those who have passed on, who you like physically know, like your grandpa, grandma, people in your in your family that has passed over to the spiritual realms. Uh, you can connect to them in that way, and it's not you know it's not crazy, not demonic, none of that. It's just connecting to um, your ancestors, loved ones who has passed over, right? Um, different different other rituals could be like um, a money ritual. Like let's say it's, let's say it's a super moon, or let's say it's some type of astrological event going on. You can set up certain rituals to connect to that energy, right, and uh, help elevate you. Uh, help elevate you mentally, spiritually, in many, many, many different ways, y'all. Like, I have to do, I swear, every time I make a video, I be wanting to go so much deeper, right? But I be trying to get to the main purpose of the video, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not just rituals, it's, it's sigils, and, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a whole bunch of different things, okay? But, it, um, short, so, uh, short story short, okay? Um, you can use these in multiple ways. Research it, okay? Uh, I know people got problems with Google and all these search engines, but Google their junk up, Google up different spiritual rituals or things you can do to help yourself mentally and spiritually, because it's like an infinite possibility of different things you can use in ritual. okay? So moving on to charms, okay? Okay, y'all, so charms, uh, people have different perceptions of what it is. Um, you may already have some things you think. Uh, which is fine because everyone have, uh, everyone have different perspectives on certain things, right? So charms, charms are different things like to be a spell, charms, right? Spell, like you ever heard, you ever seen that show Charmed, right? Charm. So they use charms and spells and different things to help them on their day to day. Charm is just like that, right? Affirmations is to me, right? I always say any information I give you goes in your own self, your own source. And validate that within yourself, okay? But um, uh, yeah, so charms could be affirmations, right? Things you speak over yourself, like I am love, I am beautiful, right? I am vibrant, I am uh, luminescent, right? These are all different charms or things you can say over yourself, right? There are actual, there are actual physical charms, right? That you can use your into your uh, uh, intuition or your intention to use your energy. Right, you use your energy to put over this this item, right? To use it for let's let's say I have a charm, right? I want to use my energy, or not use. I don't like saying use. I want to um, utilize. I, there's another word I can say right now. Utilize my energy to put over this physical item for a certain intention. Okay, so let's say okay, boom. I want this to protect myself, or I want this uh, to bring luck. I want this to bring luck in my life. I want this to bring surprise money, right? Luck could be surprise money. Luck could be you find fifty dollars on the side of the corner, like you, you know what I'm saying. So it's a multitude of different things um, you can use charms for. You know, for me, if y'all can see in the back right there, it's a piece of paper. Y'all probably can't barely see it because they're like the same color of the wall. But it's a paper over there where I have a uh, codes. Okay, I'll speak about. I spoke about this before. Um, codes, right? Coasts are it, understand that everything is energy, right? We've all seen the matrix how they have, how they have the one and zero, the one and zeros. All those are energies in some type of way, okay? So I have a code if I can remember the name 927. Uh, what's the code? Uh, 1794 325 826 95413. Okay, uh, that is a code of protection, right? So that energy, that, that is a, a, a kind of sigil. So sigils don't have to always be like some weird squiggly lines. Sigils can be numbers that you collect uh, into one um, one charm or, or one one type of uh, thing right there. Like I would use that for protection, right? I would use that for protecting my space, protecting my energy. So those are type of charm, right? Some you can actually say out loud, like affirmations. There are verbal charms. Some are physical, physical charms, like a uh, actual charm around your your wrist, right? That you can use your attention, use your, use your energy to make that into a certain type of charm. I want this to be a health charm that brings me good health, and um, all different. It's a multitude of things, bro. Okay, but I'll give y'all some examples of what I use, like the thing, the one seven nine four. 325 826 95413. That is a protection charm that I use 
and it's above my above my raw band, right? Because you have to understand that we are very spiritual beings, multidimensional beings. So we have could we 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 connect to the spiritual realms, right? And what we're going through um, is spiritual warfare. So we do have beings and energies that you know um, if you're if you're whatever you're going through that pop up from time to time, you may feel some type of way. You have some uh, negative thoughts. It's like, oh, why am I having this? Or why is this? Or why is that? Right? Um, so you use that to kind of protect your space, protect your energy as well. Sage, another kind of like a physical charm, right? Because when you use sage, most don't have an intention, but you you have an intention of clearing my space, right? Clearing my aura, fill my aura, cleansing the energy in my house. So in a way, sage is kind of a physical charm, like kind of in between, because it depends on your intention you have with it, right? So that's a type of charm, right? There are multiple different types of charms. Again, I can make a part two on this. Okay, research it. Look it up. Google, uh, duck, duck, go, whatever you want to use, okay? But um, these are all different things you could use, utilize to enhance your life or bring things into your life, right? You can have a charm that brings in um, good fortune, right? And good luck to your life, right? If you have an intention and you use your energy, right, to infuse physical objects, right, with your energy to, pro, you can program your energy into a, a physical object, okay, to bring certain, to attract certain things to yourself, okay. This is why they say always cleanse your energy because when we're out and about, certain things can get clunked onto your auric field, your energy, right? It happens all the time. We could be out in certain places that have certain energies because we're electro, we're, we're electric beings, okay? Electromag we have an le electromagnetic field around our avatar, right? So that attracts certain things. Your energy attracts certain things, right? Our energy, um, just like with trauma, right? We have some traumas and certain pains in the body, right? So just by that being that we attract certain experiences, because of our traumas or pain so it's kind of similar to that okay so yeah it's pretty much it's exactly similar to that actually but um yeah you can use it to attract certain things to you so it's like the law of attraction right how we um, um master manifestors and creators can shift our reality uh into where we want to go right we can shift our reality and move our reality around um a little bit to accommodate us and do certain things like that, right? But that that's just the basics, y'all. Like, let me know, man. Comment down below if y'all want me to make another video about this because I can go part two on the rituals and the charm, y'all. But let's move on to sigils. All right, y'all. So sigils, right? Uh, it's a little lag. One second, y'all. It's a little lag. All right, y'all. Sigils. Sigils, okay? Sigils, um... Like sigils could be the same thing, like charms and sigils. Certain things are very similar, okay? Sigils could be certain um, words, certain um, patterns, right? Let's say I wrote down, ooh, I wish I had an example for y'all right now, right? Um, right? So, one thing that I would use with sage, right? With sage, when I like sage, I don't just cleanse my space, I cleanse my, my work field, my energy field. So it's something I do that is like a it's like a sigil to me personally because it's what I do with it. And it's, if I wrote down how I use the sage physically, it would be kind of like a sigil for me, right? So when I have a sage, uh, I do like this little movement to cleanse my aura, right? I would do let's say I have the sage, I do this, do this, boom, now I do that, right? Cleansing my aura, cleansing uh, my my auric field, right? Cleansing my energy. So that would be some things. Now you can research this. You can research sigils. Uh, if y'all are into Wicca and stuff like that, y'all pretty much know what that means. Um, there's many websites you can use. Okay, um, there's many you can use. All right, y'all. So sigils, sigils. You can use multiple things, right? Sigils are uh, you have actual letters. Sigils you can say like. Um, I'll probably try to, I'll try to find it and pop it up here, okay? Because I know there's like sigils you can like write in your hand, like you can write certain sigils uh, in your hand. You can write certain sigils on the wall or use it in your house to protect yourself. You can use it 
for a multitude of different things, y'all. So sigils is a little bit similar to charms in that way. Uh, because there are multiple things. There are physical charms, right? Like like I said before, how that you make a, a bracelet and program your energy to um, do certain things with that, right? Like attract attract good luck to you, attract certain things, okay? So yeah, but those are things you could use, right? Sigils, pretty much the same thing. Physical things, okay? Or it could just be a movement, right? It could be... So yeah, they're pretty much a little similar. You can research sigils. I'll pop some up here. Um, yeah, but anyway, I think I'm, that's going to be in the video, y'all. If y'all have any questions, comment down below. Uh, I'll try to post some things in the actual video or try to send a link down for y'all for certain sigils y'all could use. But anyway, man, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, again, my name is Marcus. Thank you for tuning in for another episode of Spiritual Academy. I'm out of here. Peace.